Okay, we're back. And now what we want to do is add in an allied FNF template objective so that the Axis players can attack it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Import from File, and we're going to locate our FNF templates, which I've already found here. Make sure that when you've downloaded them, make sure you extract them, obviously. I'm going to look for an allied static objective complete version 2. Um, so this is going to be an allied objective, again, that the Axis team is going to attack. I'm going to select it and say Open. And when I do, you'll notice, hey, it's not on the map anywhere, but it's showing up in my outliner, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it in my outliner, right click and say Move Camera to Object. And that's going to move me my map to the object itself. And then I'm going to hit Control X to cut that uh, complete entity out of my outliner. I'm going to go back to my player because I want to set up the first objective that the axis is going to attack right here, Glean. I want the axis to attack the rail station. So I'm going to move my mouse right where I want to place the allied objective. And I'm going to do Control V for paste. And what that does is it paste that allied objective that we placed into the world initially by, by importing and cut it, and now we've pasted it. OK, so I'm going to go into the group. And we'll talk about that a little bit. So I'm going to say set group is working. And inside the group, we have this center block of logic, which has large entities, medium block entities, and small block entities. Talk about that in just a second. We have this switch which switches all of the uh, entities that the players will attack to show the health value, that's this guy right here, and the on attack messages for this guy right here. So when a player attacks any of these blue block entities, um, we'll get an on attack message. And when they've destroyed enough of them, um, the health icons will change from 10% health, 90% health, and so on until it's destroyed. And then finally, this last block of code is our ally AAA. And this basically turns the AAA on and off if there are Axis enemies nearby. And it, the AAA will also shoot at the Axis enemies. OK, so when we come back, we'll talk about how to place block entities and move them around, and also to get the block entities from the train station, which I'll show you here by switching the camera to the satellite mode. So you can see here we have train station entities here that we can utilize um, to add to our target to make the Axis team attack those entities. All right, so we'll talk about that when we come back.